Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here once again. Today we're making pulled pork barbecue. Now here in southeastern Virginia and northern North Carolina, when someone says, when they order barbecue, for instance, at a restaurant, they're going to get pulled pork. That's right. So when we say barbecue here, we're normally talking about pulled pork barbecue. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go hot and fast today. So we're going to fire up the uh, Weber Smoky Mountain. We're going to get this uh, pork butt injected up. We're going to get it rubbed. We're going to let it sit for a while. Then we'll get it out on the cooker about 300 degrees. And we'll go from there. I'll give you all the details. So stand by. Let's check this out after this. All right, y'all, so what we got here is about a close to a nine pound pork shoulder, pork butt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this up. So I'm gonna get this fat cap off. So this fat cap don't do nothing for the barbecue except keep the rub from getting to the meat. So I've learned over the years that you don't need it. A lot of people have controversy, fat cap up, fat cap down. Well, my philosophy is fat cap off. So let's get this thing, trim it up. We might leave a little piece in there that you don't want. It's a gland down inside the money muscle or outside of it. All right. So what we're going to do, since we're going high and fast, I'm going to drop my rubs everywhere. Since we're going high and fast, we're going to go ahead and inject this thing. <clears throat> so I got some apple cider vinegar. I'm going to dump in there about a cup or so. I'm going to take some apple juice. Uh, so we're going about half and half. Apple juice, apple cider vinegar. That's it. Getting all this. Fill it up. I'll go ahead and go through this thing. A lot of bone in here. Get it injected. All right, make sure you get that money muscle in there, they call it in the competition industry. All right, folks, today what I decided to do, I'm gonna take some It's Incredible. That's gonna be our base rub. So let's go over this thing really well. That's incredible. Pat it down. All surfaces. Now, we're going to take uh, some Killer Hogs The Barbecue Rub. Rub it down. You want to do this pretty pretty heavy. That's where your bark's going to come from. Like lots of bark. All right. So we're going to let this thing sit while we get the cooker fired up. All right, y'all, what we got here, got the charcoal pan 
filled up completely. I'm gonna barely crack my vents. Got a half a chimney of coals going. Let's get them on there. Arrange them around. Some to the outside, keep some in the middle. Center section on. So I'm gonna take the water pan, turn it into a drip pan. Say so turn this water pan into a drip pan. I'm gonna line it with aluminum foil. In the past, I've always filled this up with water. Put it on here, set the cooker about uh, 225, 250, and 12 hours later, had some awesome pulled pork. So today we're going hot and fast. So we're gonna line this with foil, set it in there. We're gonna run the cooker about 300 degrees. We'll bring the internal temp up to about 165. That's about the stall temperature. Uh, then we'll wrap it and uh, put it back on and see how long it takes to get to 200 plus. All right, y'all. So for this cook today, you can use two quarter splits of pecan right down in there. The water pan slash drip pan. Set it on in there. All right, we'll do the old potato trick with the thermometer. So we stick the probe in a half a potato. Set it right on the grate. You don't want it touching. All right. Put the lid on. Open the top vent all the way. We'll let this thing come up to temperature and we'll bring the pork butt out. All right, y'all. This is going good. I'm gonna put the butt on there. Let this go about two hours. And we'll come see what the bark's looking like. And we'll insert the temperature probe into the meat. All right. Thin blue smoke. That's what you want right there, y'all. Thin blue smoke. And boy, does that pecan wood smell good. All right, y'all. This uh, Weber Smoky Mountain's been cruising at about 290 for the last two hours. So let's take a look, see what this bark looks like. All right, now we're going uh, deep into the meat. Try not to hit a bone. There we go. Put the lid back on. Make sure it's down all the way. <clears throat> so, it's showing 112 on the meat. So we'll see how long this takes to get up to uh, 165 or so. Then we'll wrap it and keep on getting it. All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna monitor this temperature from in the house. So I'll know how long it's gonna take. When it gets to one, about 165, we'll go wrap it up and keep cooking. All right, y'all, I noticed earlier the surface of this butt looks a little dry, so we're gonna go ahead and spritz. That'll help with the bark, too. All right. All right, y'all, it's been about four hours. You can see the Smoky Mountains cruising at 287 and the internal temp of the pork butt is 165. So let's go ahead and get this thing off and get it wrapped. Let's bring this on over. It's kind of windy out here. Slide this right on there. All right, so we're gonna double wrap this bad boy. So we'll bring these sides up. 
bring the end up. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this apple juice vinegar mix, pour some inside the foil, bring it up, turn it this way. Nice and tight. So we'll bring this over back on the cooker. Put our probe back in. All right, lid on. So we'll just let her cook. When it hits 200, 205, we'll come check on her. All right, y'all. So, see if you can see this. The meat is at 205, cooker's uh, cruising at 270. So we're gonna go ahead and make up a quick vinegar sauce for the pulled pork. So what we have is some uh, apple cider vinegar, a little white vinegar, shot of ketchup, some rub, apple juice, Worcestershire sauce, and some brown sugar. So it's pretty much everybody in the pool. So, all right, so I'm gonna do, now I'm just always have done this by feel, by sight, whatever, I don't measure. <laughs> so apple cider vinegar, put about, I don't know, two cups. White vinegar, white vinegar, maybe half a cup. Brown sugar, depending on how sweet you want it. I'm gonna reach in, get me, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup, maybe a little less, a couple tablespoons. Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce. About a tablespoon. There we go. Apple juice, this is eight ounces. Put the whole thing in there. Ketchup, don't want much. I'm just putting ketchup for color basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and, whoop, come on. About a tablespoon. Then we'll top it off with the rub we're using, which is today Killer Hogs the barbecue rub. Put about a good teaspoon in there. That'll do it. Oh, almost forgot. Hang on. And the must have ingredient crushed red pepper. So we'll put about, don't want it too hot. About a good teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half. Got to have the crushed red pepper. Give it a mix. All right, we'll bring this up almost to a boil and then we'll shut it off and just let it sit. And that's it, real simple. All right, y'all, so we're at 207 by the remote thermometer. So let's take a peek. So we got the thermal pin out, just go right in. Let's see, thermal pin says 211 there. Oh yeah, but you can feel, it's like butter. Oh yeah, this is ready. All right then, so once you bring it in, you're gonna keep it wrapped, sitting in this pan, take a towel, Cover it, and you want this to sit here for at least an hour. Uh, actually, as long as you can stand it. Today, let's see what time it is. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. We want to be eating by six. So we'll let this sit for an hour, then we'll come back and get it pulled. All right, y'all. This thing's been sitting here resting for about an hour. 
Let's see what we got. Oh man, the smell coming off of this is awesome. Oh yeah. All right, y'all, this thing's just falling apart. Look at this boom. Clean, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Now, oh my, look at that. All you gotta do is look at it and it falls apart. That is what I'm talking about right there, y'all. And the smell coming off of this is just incredible. Look at that bark. So just give us a nice pull apart. All right, now the way we like to do this round here, we we'll take our vinegar sauce. Pour it over that. Every time I make barbecue, Sherry says, needs more vinegar. So, put some vinegar on there, vinegar sauce. Toss it around. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's have a taste. Needs more seasoning. So, of course, if we use our Killer Hogs D barbecue rub to season it. Mmm, that is delicious. All right, guys. This is how you do this. Now we're going to take some small buns. We got some uh, Martin's potato rolls. Good stuff. It's a relatively small roll. You could toast this bun if you want to, but you don't. You don't have to. All right, let's pile on the pulled pork. Now. But I want to try some of this armadillo pepper whiskey sauce. Got to put some of Jeff's sauce on here. I was saying in my last video I did with this that that would be, probably be good on pulled pork. So we're going to find out. So let's put a little bit. Not a whole lot. Now, icing on the cake. Coleslaw. Got to have it. There we go. Now, if you want to see my coleslaw recipe, that'll be up in the corner. So, let me photograph this and we'll bring you right back. All right, so let's put the top on this. Press down gently. This is gonna be messy. Also, we have today, Some barbecue beans. There we go. Once again, my barbecue bean recipe will be up in the cards up above. Same thing with this. A little tater salad. 
There we go. All right, y'all. Here we go. Give me a napkin. That's a barbecue sandwich right there now. North Carolina, northern North Carolina, southern Virginia where I'm at, this is how we do pulled pork. So if you ever go to a restaurant around here, order you a barbecue. If you go up, all you got to say is, yeah, I'd like a barbecue. This is what they're going to bring you right here. But it ain't going to be this good. I guarantee. So, only one thing left for this, y'all. You know what that is. You ready? Taste! Ooh, been waiting on this all day. Look at that. My goodness. I gotta do another one of those. Man. I've been making pulled pork barbecue for a lot of years. That right there is pretty good. Hot and fast. It only took six hours. Normally, <clears throat> I should say normally, but usually when I make pulled pork barbecue, I'll put it on there, water in the pan, I'll bring the heat down to about 225, and let it go overnight for 12 hours. Usually, some most of the time, I don't even cover it. Don't wrap it. As far as taste, doing it the old-fashioned way, put some more taste in it. But that right there, this ain't bad. This right here ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. This will do. If you ain't got a lot of time, six hours, that's all it took. It's really good. Got some potato salad, some barbecue beans. Of course, my potato salad and barbecue beans recipe will be up here in the corner in the, in the cards. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Anyway, it's dinner time over here, y'all. So I'm going to let you go. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for coming by. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And by all means, you know this button down in the corner. Subscribe if you'd like more fishing cooking with Mike Chavez. Anyway, thanks for coming, y'all. We'll see you next time. Bye.